Hey friends, happy uh, Wednesday. It's, uh, you know what Wednesday is, right? Hump day. Uh, hope your hump day is going well. Um, today we're, we're back in uh, Philippians chapter two, reflections from the Rev here. Um, we're just going to jump right in today. All right. Just jumping right in. Uh, we're in, uh, we're in verse five here in Philippians chapter two. And uh, Paul's explaining uh, how the Philippians can thrive and be resilient and uh, have resilient joy. Because that's the theme of this book here, to have resilient joy uh, in the midst of suffering and circumstances that we don't like and outside of our control. And so how do we have that? Um, it's not turning to ourselves and fighting to get whatever we want, when we want, and I, what I want, want it now, right? Uh, it's he gives a different instruction. It's this mind-blowing kind of direction that's only possible if we're receiving from Jesus, if we're blessed by Jesus. He says this, Have the mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God as something to be grasped. We talked about yesterday being hoarded, held on to for his own gain or benefit, but made himself nothing taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Jesus here, it says, have his mindset. Uh, so he, last week, yesterday we talked about he's entitled to his position of glory. He didn't have a body. Uh, uh, he was the, you know, eternal, um, all-powerful, uh, phenomenal cosmic powers. And then he came any bitty living space, right? Uh, when he became a human being. All of this glory. And he became a human, human being. He humbled himself to be encased in a body to serve you and I. But it doesn't stop there. It says that being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Jesus was dying to serve you and me. I mean, that, that's ultimately it. Can you imagine that having that mindset, just being dying, dying to serve? us. You know, when we're dying to do something, like we really want it bad, right? We're just passionate. We're, we're, nothing's going to hold us back. We're dying to have that cold glass of water on a hot day. We're dying to, to, to get and see that new movie, right? Where it's an expression that, that means that nothing's going to hold us back. Well, Jesus was dying, literally, to serve you and me. The, the fact that he, he uh, submitted himself to be obedient to death, the significance of that, just think about it mentally, the, the eternal God, he's eternal, unending, immortal, experienced termination of life. Just, just try to let your mind wrap itself around that. He humbled himself to be obedient to death, but not only that, but death on the cross. The significance of death on the cross is that it was the most shameful form of death at that time. He was naked. He was absolutely stripped of his dignity. He was mocked. He was, he was considered a criminal by dying on the cross. Therefore, he was rejected by society. Therefore, if you were family of him, uh, of such a person like a criminal, uh, if you were associated with him, you were rejected, you were continued filthy, dirty, you were the lowest form of, of, of being in society. He just, the, the eternal God didn't just experience termination of life, he went through the most humiliating form of death for you. He was dying to serve you and me. Consider the words of Jesus. Anyone who wants to follow me must take up his cross, deny himself, and come after me. If we have received that love, we, we, we cannot have joy in our circumstances here because it's going to require us giving things up. 
If we're not going to let it go, if we're not going to die to things for us in order to bless others, we can't know joy. We won't know joy. The pathway of Jesus is dying to ourselves in order to bless others, in order to honor him. Jesus humbled himself to death, even the most humiliating form of death, death on the cross. So friends, if we receive that love for us, if we receive what he's done, he's died to serve you and me, if we receive that, then it should cause us to want to be crucified for others. To lay our entitlements down, to lay our our sense of, of, of rightness down, to lay our things that we hold even near and dear to us, to be able to lay it down in order to bless others. What are you willing to let go of? What are you willing to die to today for the glory of God and the blessing of others? He gave it all for you. He was dying to serve you. Let's be willing to die to serve him and others. I hope you have a great day, friends.